A police car is located 50 feet to the side of a straight road. A red car is driving along the road in the direction of the police car and is 130 feet up the road from the location of the police car. The police radar reads that the distance between the police car and the red car is decreasing at a rate of 75 feet per second. The question is how fast is the red car traveling down the road? Let's look at the diagram below. This red segment is the road. The police car here on the left is 50 feet to the side of the road and the red car is 130 feet up the road, moving down the road toward the direction of the police car. Notice if we draw a segment between the police car and the red car, we have a right triangle, where we can label the short leg X, the long leg Y, and the hypotenuse H. In our situation, we can label X 50 feet and Y 130 feet. Notice how we don't know the length of H at the moment. And now we need an equation that relates h, x, and y, which should make us think of the Pythagorean theorem, where in our case h squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So the next step, let's list all the given information. Again, we know x equals 50 feet. We know y is 130 feet. We don't know h, but we'll have to find h in a minute. But we do know that the distance between the police car and the red car is decreasing at a rate of 75 feet per second, which we represent as dh dt. So we know dh dt is negative 75 feet per second. And to determine how fast the car is moving down the road, we need to determine dy dt, how fast y is changing with respect to time. We should recognize it is going to be negative because y is decreasing as the car drives down the road, and that rate of change will tell us how fast the car is traveling down the road. But we are going to have to find h using the Pythagorean theorem, so let's go ahead and do that now. We know h squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, which gives us the square of 50 plus the square of 130, giving us h squared equals 19,400, and now we square root both sides. We're only concerned about the principal or positive square root because we know h is a length which must be positive. We have h equals the square root of 19,400. We don't need to simplify this, but we can. 19,400 is equal to 100 times 194. The square root of 100 is equal to 10. We can also express h as 10 square root 194. But again, simplifying here is not required. Before we differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to t, we can perform a substitution for x because x does not change as the car drives down the road. x always remains equal to 50 feet, and therefore we can substitute 50 for x, giving us the equation h squared equals the square of 50 plus y squared. And now we'll differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to t. On the left, the derivative of h squared with respect to t is 2h times dh dt. On the right side, the derivative of 50 squared with respect to t is zero because 50 squared is a constant plus the derivative of y squared with respect to t, which is 2y times dy dt. Now remember here, our goal is to determine dy dt. So now we'll solve for dy dt by dividing both sides by 2y. Simplifying on the right, 2y divided by itself simplifies to 1. And on the left, 2 divided by 2 simplifies to 1. Let's write the equation as dy dt equals h divided by y dh dt. And now we can determine dy dt because we know the values of h, y, and dh dt. Under the given conditions, dy dt is equal to h, which is 10 square root 194, divided by y, which is 130, and then times dh dt, which is negative 75 
feet per second. Going to the calculator and rounding to two decimal places, we have dy dt is approximately negative 80.36 feet per second. And to complete the statement below, the actual speed along the road of the red car is, we're not going to include the negative, this just indicates that the leg of the hypotenuse is decreasing, which makes sense because the car is driving in this direction. We're just going to say the speed is approximately 80.36 feet per second. Now it doesn't ask, but I was curious how fast the car was traveling in miles per hour, and therefore I did convert 80.36 feet per second to miles per hour on the screen here, which comes out to approximately 54.79 miles per hour. I hope you found this helpful.